It's Kit Kat and Coffee today on the Candy Isle. Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone, to another review. This time, Kit Kat Duos Mocha and Chocolate. That is right, like a mocha coffee mixed with a Kit Kat chocolate you know and love. Two flavors for the price of one. It's Kit Kat Duos. I hope everyone's having a great day. Um, I saw this recently on the shelf. I had never seen it before. It is a pretty new product. Kit Kat released this in um, August of 2020, so relatively new. And I actually saw it beside another Kit Kat Duos um, product. So in 2019, Kit Kat launched the Mint and Dark Chocolate Duos. And I saw this beside that, and I was, I, I swear, I looked at that other duos, and I'm like, oh, I definitely reviewed that before. And then I went and I just looked through my channel, and I didn't, didn't see it anywhere. So I guess I'll probably have to go back to that store and see if, I, if they've still got the duos um, mint chocolate. Because uh, I, somehow I didn't, I don't know, <laughs> I've done so many Kit Kat reviews. It's very hard to keep track of what I've looked at and what I haven't. Um, but, uh, you know, this is a new product. I like the idea. It's sort of a mocha coffee and um, and a chocolate flavor. What's it say? Crispy wafers and, uh, uh, bu- 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 and mocha cream with uh, coffee um, bits. With coffee bits. Oh, it actually has coffee bits. In. Oh, that's what the speckles are. I, did, I didn't uh, pick up on that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, naturally, artificially. Got it. Um, obviously, Kit Kat... If you guys remember, Kit Kat is a Nestle product, like Nestle Worldwide. It's just manufactured by Hershey in the United States. And this is actually a U.S. product, even though I am here in uh, the great white north of Canada. Um, <clears throat> so this is uh, another one of the products that I found. At, uh, I found a store recently that um, imports a ton of American products. So I've been going through some of the interesting stuff that's there that I can't have uh, immediate access to here in Canada. So it's great to get a chance to see that stuff. But let's see. Um Nutrition facts, there you go. And uh, ingredients, there you go. Contains milk, wheat, soy. Mm-hmm. Manufactured in a facility that processes nuts. Good thing I'm not allergic. Was it Pennsylvania or Hershey? I don't know where the Hershey factory is locally. Anyway, let's dive in, huh? Oh, this American Kit Kat packaging. Packaging standards are odd around the world. Whoa, look at that. That's so cool. (laughs) Let's break off a couple of fingers. Man, oh, the smell is just hitting me like crazy. Wow, that smells great. That one's a little kerfuffled up, but like there's a nice, crisp, clean Kit Kat finger. Boy, oh boy, that looks so cool, man. Uh, I know I've had one of, I know I've had like the two-tone Kit Kats before. Like a um, long time ago, I reviewed a milk chocolate and a dark chocolate one. Um, I'm sure that was just, you know, available for a little while whenever I reviewed that, you know, 10 years ago or something. But, uh, you know, it doesn't, it's not always the best idea. Like maybe it looks good on paper and God, this smells great. I love the little speckles of uh, of the coffee bits in there, but uh, but you know, execution wise, like you know, sounds great on paper. Maybe doesn't always taste the best. Let's. I'm just gonna break it. Give me a break. Give me a break. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So I guess it's that's the cream. That's the mocha cream layer there, huh? Okay. Cool. Let's let's give this a whirl, huh? Do I compare it to like a Canadian coffee crisp? Probably not. Although, to be fair, not dissimilar. Hmm. Hmm. I like that it's got actual coffee in it. Interesting. I think I'd like to try this in a chunky format. You know, the, the Kit Kat chunky. Um, hmm. Okay. So, 
It's a bit lighter than a standard Kit Kat milk chocolate. Like it feels like a little less substantial. Um, the uh, the mocha mocha infused chocolate on the top here, or whatever that is, is not. Um, it's not as present. It's not as dense. It's not as big. You know, it's not a, as bold a flavor as uh, the milk chocolate. And it so the whole thing is kind of muted a little bit. Um, it does allow the cream uh, to really sort of shine in the middle, which is something that I find Kit Kat regular Kit Kats oftentimes lose out. Um, uh, they there's just you know, and, and Chunkies too, to be honest, but Chunkies have a better chance at it. Not because like, you know, Chunkies, I, they have like more bigger, there's sort of bigger wall of chocolate and robing it, but, um, there's so much more of the cream. So I feel like I get more of the middle part of a Kit Kat from the Chunky. I find that oftentimes a Kit Kat, regular Kit Kats, I lose what's the, what's in the middle of it kind of, but because this top bit, I mean, I taste the, I taste the coffee. I do. But because the, it's just, it's just not very substantive. I'm getting a lot of the cream from the middle and that's good. It is a very smooth, it's a subtler taste than you're maybe used to. Um, this is not a coffee crisp. <laughs> if you're familiar with that chocolate bar, this is definitely not that. It's, um, it maybe smells more like coffee <laughs> or like a mocha coffee. Like it really does, man, right up close. It really smells like mocha, but, um, it doesn't taste as, uh, it's not as balanced as, um, something like a coffee crisp is. So it's good. I don't know that Kit Kat really has a, a coffee bar, do they? I don't think so. Um, yeah, I, don't, I just don't think so. So I think that, you know, Americans might find this very novel. Um, in Canada, because coffee crisp is so predominant, it's prevalent, you know, you buy it at every any grocery store or whatever, any corner store. Um, I don't find this so much of a novelty. Um, and I cannot help but compare it to sort of the big dog on, uh, you know, on the street. Um, and I don't think it quite lives up to that standard, but you know, why would it? The coffee crisp has been around for ages. Um, and, and maybe to be fair, like maybe that's not a really fair comparison. Like is Kit Kat actually trying to compete against coffee crisp? Eh, no, I mean, no, I think this product is probably only available in the United States. Coffee crisp is only available in Canada, but it is sort of a, there's a parallel to them. That's all. Um, I think this is good, but, uh, not great. I do think that coffee fans might be interested in giving this a shot. Mm, and it's uh, it's got kind of a smooth taste. I wonder how this would pair with actual coffee or with an actual mocha. Or would that just be like overload? Because a Kit Kat in general paired with a coffee is great. I mean, guys, Kit Kats are top tier candy bars. They're a five out of five. This... I like the idea, you know, nice packaging, smells great, looks good. Taste is like, eh, it's all right. I think that a regular Kit Kat is still better than this, just, you know, across the board. Um, I don't think this is something I would seek out. But then again, like I've said, I have other options on the market. So for me, and I think this is probably a personal, I'm going to give the Kit Kat Duos Mocha and Chocolate a four out of five. Uh, like a, maybe a low four. It's good, but, um, it's not elevated. It's not, uh, it's not, it's really not on the same, on, at the same level as a, a regular Kit Kat or some of the other sort of specialty Kit Kats, perhaps. So worth trying for coffee fans, certainly. And, uh, you know, nice execution, but, um, just not quite as good as, uh, I was hoping. Anyway, that's it for me. You guys let me know if you've had the chance to try this down in the comments below. I would um, like to hear your opinions on it. And what do you guys think about coffee, chocolate bars in general? Good? Bad? Are you indifferent? Let me know. Anyway, thanks very much, everyone. I'll talk to you next time. So long.